Hello and welcome to Pupinock Farm and welcome to the start of Lamb Watch. So we are the last weekend of January. We're about half past seven on Sunday night and our Lamb Watch is beginning. So this is Yarrow. She's the first due to have her babies. She scanned for twins and um, her milk bags are massive. She's definitely ready to pop. She's due tomorrow, but we've popped her in this pen. We had a, a, a issue with this ewe the first year that it lambed. So we've just popped her in here on her own where she's nice and safe away from the others. She's got plenty of hay, plenty of water, a nice deep bed of straw, and we shall be checking on her now around the clock. This arbuckle here is Snowball. Snowball's the next due, we think, probably due on when Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so we've got a close eye on her. We've just checked her and she's getting pretty much ready to pop. So yeah, she'll be under close monitoring as well. We checked the cameras at about 10, half 10 last night, nothing happening. Checked them again at about half two this morning. She looked a bit uncomfy, but nothing happening. Again at seven this morning, definitely getting up and getting down and starting with full on labor. And um, by eight o'clock, these two little monkeys. So this is Mummy Yarrow and twin baby boys, Dick and Dom. So she's given them a bit of a clean up and we're just waiting for them to have their first feed now. So it's now Monday afternoon and the little lammies, Dick and Dom, are looking really quite good. Here they are. They're still a little bit sleepy. Mum is quite cross with the other mums on the other side. I think it's because they're trying to steal a hay, but also she's a bit worried they might be going to try and steal a baby, so she's sending them away with determination. But uh, other than being a little bit on the sleepy side, these two are looking good. They're, they're feeding well and they're just settling into life here. So, you know, they're not even half a day old and they're already looking quite good. So that's reassuring to us guys as well. This is Snowball. Snowball's been popped in a pen due to looking like she's going to pop. So we've just put her in here for safety. Then we can keep an eye on her on the cameras overnight. The camera is there and looks down on her here. And actually this pen's the one with the, probably the best visibility because there's another camera up there. So we'll be able to see what she's up to at 10 o'clock and two o'clock and four o'clock without actually having coming out and disturbing her unless it's necessary. But as you can probably see, she really is a sphere of wool now and is definitely looking ready to, to blow. So yeah, I think it's the right course of action to pop her in a pen tonight. So Yarrow has willingly accepted that she'd had two babies and that is all right with her. You do sometimes get a situation where you doesn't really want to acknowledge the second baby. So um, yeah, it's just good that she loves it and she loves the other one. Just to elaborate on that, my experience is they fall into two categories. They're either like, I love this baby and I love this baby. And I might take next door's babies and next door the other way's babies. I'll just have all of the babies. Or they fall into the category of, oh, that one's nothing to do with me. I only wanted the one baby. And kind of deny all knowledge of the second. Um, and she's only had singles before. So I think she did struggle with the concept. I had to pull the second one out while she was cleaning up the first one. She really wasn't bothered about delivering the second lamb, so it was a bit interesting, and then helped her clean it off. But um, yeah, it wasn't long really before she decided that she was kind of all right with having had two babies. We've just put bands on Dick and Dom's tails, which will take a, a wee while to fall off. It'll be a while before they, they leave them, but it's best to do it within 24 hours in terms of registering pain for the lamb so we're making it as easy as possible from a pain point of view and from a hygiene point of view as well so that's that job done now and um i i, I it sounds a bit mean but in a way it's kind of woken them up a bit because they're a bit lethargic so i'm kind of a bit glad that that's happened um i think thinking about going under mum get a bit of a, a drink and comfort 
but it has kind of broken them up now, hasn't it, boys? Sorry, babies. I know it's not very nice, but it has to happen. This is what we refer to as a food frenzy. Jo's just put a lump of hay in for Snowball to settle her. She's got hay in the rack, but it's more accessible on the floor. And Yarrow's stealing it from next door. And everybody on the other side is thinking about stealing it as well. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like a food frenzy situation happening right here. And, and while I'm watching that, this little fellow, Dom, has been trying to climb into my willy boot. I'm feeling quite pleased with things. I think these, these lambs are doing really good. This is exactly what we would hope for at this stage of the evening. So I'm going to go in and get a bath so that I can do the next bit of lamb watch. Wednesday and Snowball's been checked many, many times. She checked at half two in the morning, checked at seven in the morning, and then she's been checked multiple times throughout the day. And there's still no sign of her popping. However, look at these little cuties. Dick and Dom are really starting to get the hang of life. They're starting to bounce around a little bit more, looking a bit, a bit more full of it. Um, and they're certainly getting plenty of milk off mum. So that's all going really well. Lamb watch continues. So about nine o'clock on Thursday and after numerous morning, afternoon and evening checks, complete with the half past two in the morning checks as well, for several days in a row, Snowball has still not had her baby. So it's Sunday, four days overdue, and finally, I think Snowball's thinking about having a baby. So it's half five on Sunday evening, and at about five after half an hour of wrestling, we've just done our most difficult delivery yet. It was a true breach, so she wasn't dilating properly. I had to go internally and, and dilate her twice actually and then discovered a tail coming first and I could only feel a tail in one back leg and my arm just didn't seem to be long enough so Joe's had to come in and help me find the other leg and we've managed to get the lammy out but it's a bit difficult at the moment. So mum has lost a bit of blood and has been in a lot of pain. So we've given her some pain relief. This is baby, baby boy. He's huge. He's a really big lamb. He's bigger than an individual of the, of the next door. So he's like very big lamb, very long. Um, she's not sure whether she loves him yet, which I completely understand to be honest. Starting to look a bit more something like. I've dried him with a towel just so he doesn't get chilled, but um, she's giving him a bit of love now. And so, 24 hours <coughs> on, here is Danny Boy, and things are looking far more like he's got a bit of a poorly eye. And his front legs are a bit bendy, probably because he's a bit folded up inside mum. But he's actually doing really well. And Snowball is doing okay as well. She's quite cross with me for coming into the pen and fussing on him and doing his exercises. So that's a really good sign. She's looking a lot brighter herself this evening. She's had quite a lot of digestive biscuits Bleh. and some ivy leaves and her normal food ration as well today. Here we are, look, he's saying hello to next yeah. door. I think here we can just see the size of him. Um, he's as big or bigger than one next door that's a week old. Obviously he was yeah. growing in the womb on his own. He'd got all of it to himself. So he filled the space, didn't you lad? So yeah, I think it's fair to say that uh, 2023 whirlwind first week of lambing one had twins, one overcooked hers by four days and had mega lamb and tried to die having the lamb. And one decided she was on the wrong cycle, so she'll have a lamb next time. So 
I do look forward to updating you all in what happens in the next yeah. couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching. If you could like this video, that would be amazing. And if you could follow on and subscribe to our channel, that would be even more amazing. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.